So just a little brief little video um, documenting what actually happens with the Dali BMS uh, and their inability to handle over voltage when they go into battery disconnect mode. So just showing you what we have here is uh, it's actually a brand new battery uh, on there only for a few days and what happened was the charge controller faulted, shorted out, uh, which I didn't think anything too much of because I thought the BMS should disconnect. So I had the, this negative on there and, and our positive through, obviously through to our charge controller. And um, it didn't, that's where our charge controller is connected to. And it did, it did, of course, disconnect, try to disconnect. However, the voltage on the panels is about 90 something volts. Uh, being an MPPT charge controller um, and this thing just simply short of the FET so this is just going to document what happens there you see it's opened up all the cells of here and electrolytes gone everywhere they're actually all still holding 3.2 volts uh, but you can see the significant damage to all of the cells um, and pretty much they're no longer good for service um, in this sense I'll probably reuse them for some other non-critical service but I'm going to open up the VMS and have a look inside and show you the shorted FETs. And that's the problem with using these solid state VMSs is that you have to consider the failure mode, which I didn't, of a MPPT charge controller, which is what this is supposed to protect against, the failure of a charge controller, and will it actually stop that failure mode? So, hmm, open circuit voltage capability of them. Probably okay if you're only charging with 24 volts. 24 volt panel on 24 volt BMS but in this case I was using the MPPT charge controller charging at 96 volts into a 24 volt battery which is fine until the charge controller fries and then this thing can't handle that fault mode so this is just the first part of that series I'll do another clip further on in for bad lighting but um, just the second part of this so I've opened up the Dali BMS Lithipo 4 um, and so inside it's all potted uh, when you get in there and as you can see because of the lithium batteries leaking all the uh, chemicals on there it's got a bit of cracking across where the potting is I think um, but I think that's literally due to the chemicals in the battery nothing else but I'm going to try and get the potting off and show you why um, this BMS fails and also show you the reason why I didn't bother trying to go through warranty process is because I don't want another one of these, BM, these BMSs. So I finally managed to pry most of the uh, potting off the uh, Dali BMS. So I'll just give you a walk around of what's actually inside this guy. So we have our balance leads coming in here. Uh, these are actually our balance resistors and little transistors that turn them all on off. And this, this IC here, which I didn't bother to look up, some specialized IC for balancing. Uh, this guy here is an ASIC, so I couldn't see any numbers on it, specifically programmed, bought by Dali BMS, I'd say. Uh, so that's an ASIC chip that does all the uh, logic. Uh, over here we have a bunch of transistors, uh, well, FETs, I didn't look them up, but, but that basically connects through. It's actually a separate board that does the output of all the FETs. So it takes the, the B plus and, the, and um, sorry, the B minus and the, and the charge minus and uh, puts it all together and just ba basically gives you a you know, allow it to discharge or allow it to charge, and that's all it does. Over here we have the main uh, FET board. Uh, this is a double-sided board, and these, this is one, this is, these two FETs are back-to-back. -back. Uh, I'll show you on a diagram in a minute, and the other side as well, back-to-back, -back. Um, and they got some resistors to sense the current. This is the B- minus side here. So I've drawn that up in a little diagram here, and I'm just going to show you why this is important. So this is a basic configuration. P minus is connected to the inverters and solar charge controllers and the B minus the battery. And you've got two FETs, or a row of them, uh, connected back to back. Same thing on the other side of the board. And this allows you to have a separate charge control and a discharge control. And that's the basic configuration of how this thing works. So these FETs, uh, they're an interesting number. I'll, I'll read it off to you if you can't see. I was not able to locate any documentation on them, but they are an FTB02N04NA. So if anyone can find what they are, I was hoping to look up what their open circuit voltage is. 
but what's happened is that uh, when the BMS has gone to its sensor high voltage on the cell with the cell charge controller shorting, okay, and it's gone to turn off the this charge line, so it's turned this off, and then it's it's seen 90 volts across these 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 FETs, and in fact, I think across this particular FET, and this FET obviously is not rated for 90 volts. I don't know what it's rated for. I can't find a spec sheet of it. It's not in any of the Dali BMS specifications. Um, and so it's blown this one, and in fact, it's also blown this one, because obviously they're connected on the same sort of uh, discharge line as well. So both of those, it's, it's, it's turned those off, um, but it's blown those FETs, and, and they're short both ways across with the multimeter. And so normally it uses this small resistor to, to determine which way the current's flowing, charge or discharge, and determine whether to turn which one on and off. So this comes back to the overall problem. If we're running a DALI BMS and we have a high voltage problem with the charge controllers, unless we have a rating on these BMSs of their open circuit voltage, you cannot trust that this MOSFET is going to be capable of protecting your battery. So I, I will no longer use a FET-based BMS unless I know what it's rated for and I will specifically test that it can turn off with that full rated voltage coming in for a failed charge controller. So this was something I overlooked and destroyed a battery on, and I'm hoping that others can learn from this, that this is what happens inside of these solid state BMSs, and, and they're all gonna be the same. It's not specific to DALI, but um, we need to see the open circuit voltage ratings on these things to know. Otherwise, just use a contactor and do it external, you know, Electrodactus or uh, what some of the others, I'm using I'm using DIY BMS, but anything that can control a, an external relay um, and go about it that way and at least you know you're definitely going to protect your battery.